All right, guys, uh, let us consider our DC machines again, working with the DC motor. That is our typical exam question that we are given from our April exam, uh, April 2024 exam. So we're going to quickly go through this question. We're given the first part of our question, which is 3.1. It was to name two types of brushes used in a DC machine, the types of brushes that are used. All right, so there are so many types of brushes that you can use. We can use the electro graphite. So we can have uh, the electro uh, graphite a brush that is one to be considered. You can also talk of the graphite, all right? You can also consider uh, the graphite uh, brush. You can also consider uh, the copper graphite gra uh, brush that is uh, the copper uh, graphite brush. We can also consider the carbon, all right? Which is the carbon uh, brush. These are typical brushes to be used in a DC machine. So for two marks, any two of them, we're going to be uh, taken into consideration. Then 3.2, you're asked to draw the characteristic curve of a DC shunt motor. Remember, you're, talk you're talking of a DC shunt motor there, showing the speed against the armature current. So guys, do revise this characteristic curve on each part Talk of a DC generator, a DC motor on each and every part. Please just make sure you go through uh, this. So remember here we have got our amateur current and also we're going to have uh, the speed. So the speed as the amateur current is increasing, there is a slight uh, decrease that is going to happen in terms of what? In terms of the speed. So that is the characteristic curve that you consider of a DC shunt motor. All right. Then on number 3.3, .3, we are asked here, this calculation was so interesting, guys, uh, for the five marks that you're given there. There was a lot of things to consider, actually. So you can see five marks. A 444-pole DC, is, just take note how the question is given. A 440-DC series motor. We are not used to like, we're just given like a DC series motor, a, 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 like a 400, then this is not given. This is not given. But that is like w w the questions that we are used and also the speed, I mean, the, 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 the useful flux is not given. So in this case, it means there is a, a part where the EMF equation of a DC machine has to be applied. There is a part where we just have to consider just a DC series motor on its own. There are two things that you have to, to, to think of when the question is like this. Know your questions, how they are given. Study them. Okay? So you have to study what, like, how these questions are given. So in this case, this one, the four, hundred, the, the four pole, uh, these useful flags, we know where they are taken from from the emf equation so we do know from our emf equation that the e is equal to can use the two flux uh n p z over uh 60 c provided that the speed is in uh, revs per minute but then we have got something also about a dc series motor what is it that we are considering on a dc series motor this is it. So we are going to have uh, the field that is our series field. Uh, in this case, this winding is connected in series with the armature. That is the major part that you're going to have connected in series. So having this is a motor. Remember, it takes in the current. Current is, takes in current, meaning to say you're talking of the load current and the current across the field, which is the series field. This is our series field resistance. And on the armature, we do understand that we are going to have the armature resistance. We're going to have the armature resistance and the, the armature current in this case, which is the same in this case, this is the same. The load current equal to the series 
field current, which is equal to the armature current because this is in series. The current flowing there is the same. So there's something about this and there's something about the EMF equation. Okay, so let us take our information. So this is a 440 uh, that we are given uh, four poles. So meaning to say uh, the voltage at the terminals is 440. A four pole considering from our EMF equation, we've got P representing the pair poles. Out of the four pole, we need the pairs divide by two, meaning to say we have got two pairs in this case. All right. Then we are given a wave wound armature, a wave. Remember, C is equal to two for a wave. For a lap, C is equal to 2P when it is a lap, but this is a wave. Then the armature with 760 conductors, the Z number of conductors, 760. The armature and series field resistances are is respectively we're talking of the armature resistance the first one that is uh from this series whatever connection that we're given that is where we have got these values now affecting uh 0, 0,2 ohms and the series field which is 0, 0,3 so the series field is 0, 0,3 ohms so calculate the speed at which the motor will run the speed here on our emf equation there is a speed there to be considered when or, or at which the motor operates if the armature current is 25 amps from this side we are given that the armature current is equal to 25 amps remember i said about this armature current is the same uh throughout this is a series connection so many say the series field current the load current is equal to that 25 amps and the useful flux per pole 30 milli Weber. so for the useful flux per pole which is 30 milli Weber. that is it so we need to calculate the speed so as we can see on the generated emf equation we need the generated emf which is the the one that you're going to calculate from the motor here, the back EMF of a motor. So you're considering a motor, remember? So that's our back EMF. So we can calculate it this side. Then after calculating, we focus on the speed. Because from this side, we can actually work with the speed and make it the subject. Here we're given that E is equal to 2 times the flux times the speed, P, Z over 60, C, provided that this is in revs per minute, you divide by this 6. So you can make n the subject. Cross multiply the 60 C. E is equal to 2 flux and P Z. Then we need, remember, we need this. So you're going to divide by this 2 flux P Z both sides. So that's 2 like this. So that will be our n. So the speed at the end is going to be 60 uh, C E over. Uh, that's two. Uh, then we could have the flux there, the pair poles, and the number of conductors. So that is going to be our formula. But as you can see on this formula, we are stuck because we do not have the E, which is the generated EMF, which is the one that we need from our motor in this case. What is going to be the back EMF? So that's V minus yeah, the, it's a motor, so we're going to subtract the armature current. So in this case, if you use this, it simply means you're going to multiply to the resistance of the armature circuit. So take note, the resistance of the armature, which is everything that is affecting the circuit of the armature. In this case, we have got the series field and the armature in a series. They are affected together. They are in the same combination they are connected in series there so it's the it's a, it's a single connection so we have to add these two so we are going to add these two meaning to say this resistance affecting our armature there are two things to be considered the series field and the armature resistance on its own so this formula is supposed to be given as v minus the armature current into these two the sum of the series field and the armature resistance combined that is giving us all 
part of this circuit, what we are having in that circuit. But in this case, are we having everything? Let's consider. Let's see. The V, we have got this amateur current. We have everything. There we have got everything. So it's just substitute, uh, substituting what you're given. The voltage at the terminals, 440 minus the amateur current, which is 25 into the series field plus the amateur resistance, sorry, that is 0, 0,3 plus the amateur resistance of 0, 0,2. So you can simplify this on your calculator. That is obtain uh, the back EMF, which is the generated EMF of 427,5 volts. This is the one that we need here. This is the one that we need in order for us to obtain the speed. And as I said before, if there is a 60 that is dividing here, it means this speed that you are calculating is in revolutions per minute. So the N that you are calculating at the end is supposed to be in revs per minute. So let's just substitute, guys. We've got everything uh, that we need. So therefore, our speed at the end was going to be 60 times the C which is two times the E that we calculated, which is in this case, 427,5. That is our big EMF, uh, 427,5 over, that is two times the UC for flux per pole, that is 30 milliwebers times 10 with exponent of negative three times the number of pair poles, pair poles, two pairs, times the number of conductors, 760. So thus, having our N, the speed N revolutions per minute. Uh, so that was going to be 562,5 N revs per minute. So do make sure that you work on your formulas. Uh, there are questions where you need to connect formulas from one, to another part. So they were to work with two things to consider on uh, the, the operation of uh, uh, a DC motor and it's on its own, which is a series. Then the application of our EMF equation at the same time. So sometimes you can be given just a question like this, where you just need to calculate the, the back EMF or the generated EMF of a DC motor. You give it a serious connection. You just, with that connect, that uh, the information is on this part on. You use that. Sometimes you are given this E and all this part, like what you're given, everything, and they give you this generated EMF and they ask you to calculate the speed. You just manipulate and sub, but this one, you had to calculate that generated EMF that you are not given here on this EMF equation from the understanding of the circuit that you're given. So sometimes it might be a shunt connection. You work with what you're given. You calculate the E from the circuit that you're given. So it's going to depend with what you're given here. Is it shunt? Is it a series field? Okay. With that, you use it now to calculate your speed using the EMF equation. So that's it, guys, uh, from Meson African Motives. Till we meet again.